Friday, January 22nd, in front of the Airbnb uh, uh, headquarters here in San Francisco. And uh, there is a protest. I was a little bit late, and I just remember, and uh, it's a little bit drizzling, and uh, but it's been okay. There is a few people here. Got pink, call this. Uh, it's okay. They call it Israel, but it's Palestine. see more people are joining us and uh, there is more more of us so this is cool okay finally somebody's doing something about airbnb Uh, good afternoon, this is PNN TV. We're here with uh, Ariel and Janet from Code Pink. We're in front of uh, Airbnb headquarters here in San Francisco. And uh, please tell us what, uh, we'll start off with you, Ariel, uh, about what uh, this uh, gathering, this action here is about today in front of Airbnb. Sure, well, we recently learned that Airbnb is listing homes in illegal settlements in the occupied West Bank and in East Jerusalem. We're here today to ask Airbnb to remove those listings from their website and to implement a policy that their listings cannot be violating international law. That's a theme with Airbnb. Uh, locally here we know that they've been, they've been in violation of our laws here and they're a multi-million dollar uh, multinational corporation. Uh, Janet, perhaps you can uh, touch on that aspect. Thanks. There's a long-running housing crisis in San Francisco. It has gotten Airbnb much worse over the last few years. Airbnb is part of that. It's part of the profiteering that, uh, that's involved in the housing market here. And making unavailable to permanent residents many units of housing. Um, so, both of you, uh, it's good that you're out here keeping the pressure on this uh, corporation that is operating with impunity. What are some next steps that people watching can take to help? Sure, people can go to act, A-C-T, dot stolen homes, S-T-O-L-E-N-H-O-M-E-S, dot org, and get some more information there, as well as tools that they can use to contact Airbnb, and a link to a petition by a coalition of organizations, including Code Pink, Jewish Voice for Peace, um, American Muslims for Palestine, U.S. Campaign to End the Israeli Occupation, and U.S. Palestinian Community Network. Okay, I think that clipped off the last 15 seconds because this only has so much time. But uh, again, thank you, thank you very, very much. I'm going to be posting this uh, on, on our, uh, our Facebook site. I'm trying to get it on the 
I'm also with an organization called Senior and Disability Action. We're a part of something called the Share Better, uh, the Share Better campaign. Organization, Share Better, um, and it's a collection of organizations that are trying to get uh, Airbnb regulated here in San Francisco. Uh, we have four magazines. Uh, Formagazine.org. And then uh, uh, the other one is sharebetter.org. Sharebetter. And uh, they're trying to get a argument to a legislative that can be tested. He's trying to get, he's uh, trying to reintroduce some uh, short term rental uh, regulations for the uh, for the supervisors to implement. You can't, you can't get it during the time of the ballot in November. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So, Rachel, thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for being out here. Yeah. Hello. Uh, my, uh, hola, Tony. How are you? It's good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so you are doing some interviews here. Now it's your turn to be interviewed, okay? Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that you have your own channel or something like that. Uh, your own uh, place where you put your news. Uh, well, you know, we, uh, I, I work with uh, Poor Magazine. Yes. Uh, that's poormagazine.org. With Tiny, yeah. Tiny, my wife, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're here in support of Code Pink uh, because of uh, Airbnb and the impunity and the lack of accountability that they operate with. They're a multi billion dollar corporation yes. and they've been able to make billions of dollars by violating law. Yes. So, uh, you know, listing these in the occupied territories is in violation of law and we're here to uh, call attention to that because the only way we're going to be able to change any of this is to uh, exert pressure on the community level. Okay, uh, uh, again, uh, one thing about your name, Tony... Uh, Tony Robles. Tony Robles. Yeah. And uh, you uh, uh, work with uh, Tiny Garcia from Pool Magazine. Yeah, Pool Magazine. And then also I work with an organization called Senior and Disability Action. Yes. And we do housing work as well as work on transportation. We advocate for seniors and people uh, with disabilities. Yeah, uh, now, I mean, just for the record, and not for anybody who wants to show up there, uh, what is the URL of uh, Poor Magazine? It's uh, Poor Magazine, that's P O O R, uh, poormagazine.org. Yeah. And it's also known as Prensa Pobre. Um, yeah, poormagazine.org. And if people are interested in senior and disability action, it's uh, SD, like Samuel and David, sdaction.org. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Poor Magazine uh, is part of the PNN. PNN, yeah. Uh, Poor, Poor News Network. Uh, we are embarking on something called Homefulness, which is a revolutionary housing model. Uh, yes. based on sweat equity, which yeah. is a reality that's happening in Oakland right now. We have a school, we have something called, it's called uh, Decolonize Academy. And we have kids that are going to our school, they're learning uh, about, um, you know, they're, they're learning practical things, they're learning media, they're learning how to do carpentry, they're learning math, they're learning indigenous languages. So it's a it's a beautiful thing happening there. Okay, uh, Tony, I so good to see you again, man. And you're looking great. And uh, well, well, you are too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you mind if I ask you a few more questions sure. because I know you are always there. We always run into each other. Okay, sure. being on the street like today yeah. on a protest yeah. or a board of supervisors or oh, yeah. whatever. Okay, we are yeah. all, all over the place. Now, uh, Airbnb has a dismal record in San Francisco, well, in any city, basically. And uh, the impact uh, of Airbnb business here can be felt. Can you give us just a little bit of like, an outlook or an overview of uh, what's, what's well, going on? Well, you know, it's also known as short-term rentals. And essentially what Airbnb has done is it's created a situation where it's taken... Uh, rent control units off the market and turn them into hotels and it's it's largely unregulated even though we did pass a law last year the law is very weak there's no enforcement mechanism yeah. so um, 
people have still been allowed to uh, operate you know, within the Airbnb format or the platform without registering, which is required now by law. Yeah. And there have been people that have rented out entire buildings uh, for short-term rentals. And what that's done is it's created a situation where it's uh, caused people to lose their long-term homes, it's caused evictions. Um, it's been very bad news. Um, turning residential areas into hotels is changing the characters of the character of the, of the of neighborhoods. You don't know who's coming into the neighborhoods. You don't know, you know, uh, who your neighbors are anymore. Uh, you have people coming in all hours of the night. Um, you know, there's there's complaints about noise. There's you know, it's been just a very, it's been a negative thing. Uh, Supervisor Peskin uh, wants to regulate it. Uh, they're going to try to in, they're going to try to introduce legislation this year at the Board of Supervisors. If it does not go through, they're going to go then they're going to go for a ballot measure in November. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, you know we have a new supervisor. Well, it not, it's not new, but uh, he's yeah. reelected again because uh, Peskin has, was previously the president of the Board of Supervisors yeah, and supervisor yeah. for years. Yeah. And uh, it's good that we have him there, okay? Uh, because we lost a lot of that. Uh, well, he's gonna, you know, one of the other things on his agenda is to uh, <clears throat> try to expand rent control, and uh, there's a proposal now that he's trying to work out with the city attorney's office in order to extend rent control into new construction. As we know, rent control is extended to buildings that were constructed uh, in 1979 or before. Uh, so how they're going to do that, I don't know, but that's something that they're working out with the city attorney's office. Okay, Tony, well, uh, so good of you to talk to me, and yeah, it's great well, to, well, see to see you, you. See you yeah. and uh, <laughs> I want you to say hello and to give my love to, uh, to Tiny, okay? Oh, I can't even, because, uh, you know, she has just a history of this uh, struggling for so long, uh, that that uh, magazine was started by Mama D, uh, yeah. rest in peace, and uh, has been doing a whole lot of good stuff in, in there, okay? So, thank you so much. And uh, well, uh, forward and uh, yeah, yeah, para yeah. adelante, okay? Yeah, well, thank you, thank you. I, thank you. I appreciate it. Huh? Here we are. No, that's not free. <laughs> they charge you for it. Hi! And uh, here, uh, here we are. And we got San Francisco Best. So it's time for me to uh, to leave it's in the rain, and it's just about uh, over because I was late. Mm. <laughs> Hi, good to get, good good to show up here. Thank you for organizing this. Thank you for organizing this. And thank you for the. Uh... All right. <laughs>